Hi, sir. Can you say hello? Welcome back. Say welcome back to the people. No. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> I know Brogan already officially welcomed you, but welcome back. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. Good morning. It is still the morning. I already had my two cups of coffee and now I've moved on to Celsius. It is currently 9.15. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, bright and early. I read a chapter of my book, which I honestly don't even know. I don't know the name of it. My husband recommended it to me. I have been saying that I wanted to get back into reading. So far, the book is crap, but I'm gonna continue to read it because I'm pretty sure I'm already halfway through. So nonetheless, you don't need to know the name of the book because I would not recommend it. My aunt bought me a book for my birthday, which I've been saving to read this fall. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. We talk about Halloween often or you get subtle reminders because I do, again, drink out of a Halloween mug every day, but love The Nightmare Before Christmas. That was like my favorite movie for the longest time. I loved Jack Skellington as a little girl. So she bought me this book. It's about Sally, the pumpkin queen. Um, so I'm gonna read that this fall and I'm very excited to read it because I love Halloween. I am like addicted to these, which is bad. It's like such a, a kick to the mouth. But this is my favorite flavor, Fuji apple pear. And I just, I can't stop, won't stop. And it's bad, overly caffeinated, which may be fueling into my excessive anxiety that I'm having lately. Guys, I don't know what it is. I just feel like whenever I'm home for an extended period of time, I feel like I should be getting so much more than I'm getting done. And I just give myself total and complete anxiety and honestly i've been getting so much done but i really want to do more on my instagram i find that a lot of you guys watch my vlogs and then you comment like do you have an instagram account and i'm just like not super active on my instagram so i set up a tripod i started taking pictures of my outfit i've been dressing a little bit cuter recently just because i've been eating healthy working out and i feel like it's kind of just flowing into the rest of my life as i feel it typically does so i've just been like feeling myself a little bit more aesthetically but like internally i'm not feeling myself at all can anyone relate so i started taking pictures of my outfits on a tripod and then today i went to go upload one and i don't know i'm just feeling like really down on myself i don't know what it is I, and I've been talking a lot about it lately. I just wanna be doing so much more than what I'm doing. I kind of feel trapped and I kind of feel stuck and I don't know like what the next best step is. I really want to like do something exciting with my life. I love vlogging and I love my channel and I love creating content. And I really think that like it is something that I am so passionate about, but I just like don't have enough time. And I know like that could be an excuse. Like we all say we don't have time for things and we make time for things. And clearly I make time because I upload consistently on a weekly basis. I just like need more time. And I, I don't, I don't know where else to pull time from. <sighs> So I kind of feel a little down and out, which is why I woke up early. I read a chapter of my book. I sat with my kitty cat. We read together. He sat on my lap. We snuggled. I just want to do things that make me happy this week. I did my new face, which I've been doing consistently for the past three days, which I feel good about. And I honestly notice a change in my face like that. And I need to like get some fresh air. I need to work out. So I thought I would take you guys with me because quite honestly, I need to raise the vibration. I'm feeling like crap, but I'm also feeling this feeling that I've been feeling. I had this feeling before I started getting healthy in June that something big and something great and something exciting was going to happen for me. And I think like my mind shift with my health and whatnot was that exciting thing. I'm hoping like something exciting happens for me in terms of like where my life is going to lead. I don't know. I just have this kind of feeling that something is about to happen and I don't know what. And so again, I've said this before, but I need to meet the vibration. So I'm gonna drink my Celsius, we're gonna work out, we're gonna get some fresh air. I got some new clothes that I ordered because I need clothes and we will try them on together.
All right, welcome to a somewhat entertaining haul. Now, I bought this. This is a bathing suit cover-up, and the reason why I bought it is because I saw Carly Bible wear it while she was on her Italian vacation in Positano, and it looked fabulous on her. I think it's cute, yes. I think the crochet is beautiful. You might be wondering why I bought a cover-up at the end of summer. No, this was not on sale, but I just, I saw it on her and I loved it. Green is my new favorite color. So I saw this, I fell in love with it. I think it's really pretty. It's like revealing, but like not too revealing. I just think it's fun and I feel like a flower child. I don't think I like this with a patterned bathing suit underneath it. I think it would look better with a solid bikini. Um, so I just threw on a pair of black underwear because I don't have a solid bikini here at the house. And I think that this looks better. Maybe not necessarily black, but I think I just need like a solid color to wear it with so that it just like pops more. This is a t-shirt. I really want cute white t-shirts, but I believe this is from Rag and & Bone and this did absolutely nothing for my figure. It got wonderful reviews online, but I just don't think it's worth the price tag. I feel like this is like a Hanes t-shirt. Am I wrong or am I right? I also got this rag and bone skirt, which is the reason why I even purchased any of these products because I saw that this was on sale. Honestly, it's cute. It's really comfortable and it's soft, but in my opinion for the price tag, it was a little cheap. Like it came with threads hanging off of it and I kept it for a little while, but I actually just, um, I decided to return it. So I don't know, this is a cute outfit, but again, if you knew how much each thing was, which I think the t-shirt was like 90 bucks, I think the skirt was two something on sale for like 160. It's just, it's not screaming worth the money to me. It's screaming like old navy vibes. And I don't mean that to be rude, but it's just, it's not giving as much as it should be giving for the price tags on each thing. So I actually returned both of these things. On to this sweater, which, oh my God, I love it. It is beautiful. This was a bit pricey. I think it was around $100, but this is a great basic that I will own forever. It is definitely an investment piece that I will wear all the time. So price per wear will definitely be worth it. I think the crocheting is beautiful. It is super, super comfortable. And I just feel like an elevated version of me in it. So I also kept this as well. I really wanted to hear your opinions, but honestly, I filmed this video a couple weeks ago at this point and I needed to get the items back in store to get my credit back, but so cute. I love it. I don't necessarily like it with this skirt, but this is cute for work. This is cute for life, just a everyday staple. And I will link it down below as well as everything else. This neckline, lol. Like it's just, it's too high. And honestly, I don't have much of a jaw. So this made me look like I had a double chin, just the way that it hits. It's a little bit too loose on the arms as well. It's just a very weird fitting top, but the color is beautiful. And I really wish that it fit me nicely because again, this would be a beautiful, beautiful staple. And I am loving green and I am loving dark brown. So I am determined to find a top like this. If you know me, you know, I love turtlenecks also. This is just so cute. I love a turtleneck, but I also get hot. So a sleeveless turtleneck is one of my favorite things. I just feel like, again, for the price point, I was really, um, I was really let down. And I think that I bought this at Bloomingdale's and I bought the green cover up at Zara as well as this terrible fitting little vest. What is this called? You, these were everywhere in the summer. And I grabbed it because I was just like, you know what, let me get it, this little vest but it is way too big. I believe I got a size small. Honestly, I would purchase the extra small, but the problem is that it came and it had like stains on it. I don't know guys, like Zara, Zara, I don't know how you say that. It has really cute stuff, but the quality in my opinion is just trash. And yeah, this went back, it was terrible. It was literally terrible, but the buttons are nice. It looked nice, but no. This is my shirt, I own this. It is from Banana Republic Factory. Again, I was just trying to give this skirt a spin to see how I could wear this every day styling it. I put my Louis Vuitton belt in it, which is my favorite belt at the moment. I don't know. It's just, again, the skirt is cute. It was really comfortable. It was really soft. I just, I feel like it's not the skirt. Will I regret it? I'm not sure. Um, but at this moment, it just, it's not what I wanted. I was envisioning something else. Um, so I'm definitely on a denim skirt hunt. I have been looking since filming this and I haven't found one yet. But yeah, I did ultimately decide to return this. And overall, this uh, haul was not, it wasn't it. I am really loving my Fendi bag though. Like, oh my God, this bag, I love it so much. I wish someone else could just buy me whatever clothes that I need. Like I would really love a clothing stylist. And then if I could just pick out my own shoes 
handbags and belts. Um, that would be my dream. That would be my dream. Because I really love accessories and I love high-end accessories. I hate clothes. Especially because clothes never fit me the way that I want them to. Good morning. It's a brand new day. I have not been in a good headspace the last like week and a half. The end of the summer just like really hit me like a ton of bricks and I just feel very sad and I feel very like in my feels and I think a lot of it has to do with my dad. I just like miss him and it's sad that I went a whole summer without, you know, seeing him. You think that like as time goes on, you get less sad, but I just feel more sad. I think as time passes, you learn to like live with your grief, but also as time passes, it's like more time that you don't spend with them. And then you think about all this time that has gone by that you haven't seen them and that's, that hits like very different. I had terrible dreams last night. They were all like I was at work. I don't know, at my at my old job. It was very weird. I woke up and I was like, oh great, it's not gonna be a good day. But then I checked my phone, which I've been trying to not do when I wake up, just because I feel like it's healthy to just not check your phone first thing. But I checked my phone first thing and I actually got a comment from Brittany to just keep going. And it was just such a nice comment that it put me in a good mood. And just like reading her comment, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a good day today. So thank you, Brittany, if you're watching this. It meant a lot to me. So I'm changing the vibrations. We're going to have a better weekend. It is actually Labor Day weekend. Um, it's the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. So a long weekend is ahead and I really need the break, the mental break, the all the breaks. I got my hair done this past week. It is very blonde. What do we think? I love my girl who does my hair. I love her to death. And every time I go there, she asks me what I want to do and she always keeps me light, but she always plays with the tones. And this time she went for like a more neutral blonde. I don't know. I feel very blonde and I kind of love it, but I also haven't worn any makeup since getting my hair done and I feel like makeup will make a difference. So we will see. I love how like blonde it is underneath too. I don't know. She does a, a kick ass job, but I wanted to just talk to you guys about the summertime fine workout challenge that I did with Sydney because I did it the other day. I filmed a little bit of me doing it and then I got really emotional after that. And I thought that I was going to be like, yes. And I was like, yes, we're going to talk about it. But I just feel like it like spiraled me into a lot of emotions. I'm going to do my new face because I want to do my new face and it will make me happy. And I'm going to do it with you guys, but I'm going to do like a chit chat new face instead of like a chit chat. Get ready with me. But I also wanted to shout out this kitsch headband. Oh my God. It is huge and it is so soft. I wish you could like feel it through the screen. I love this because look at what this does. So I put it on like a headband. It's so soft. Just like, look. So I put it on like this. It keeps all the hair out of my face. Look at that. I don't need a ponytail. I don't need a hair clip. When I go to wash my face in the sink, it's so nice. And it protects my hairline from water, from a mask. So if I wash my hair and I don't want to get it wet up top, like this is just, it's so genius. And it comes in a pack of three. I'm just hydrating my lips with this wet and wild lip treatment. I'm just going to do what I'm doing and I'm not going to talk you through it because you guys have seen me do the new face so many times. If you want to see a detailed video, I'll link it above and you can watch that. But we're moving on. We're talking, we're chit chatting. So I finished Sydney's workout challenge every summer. She does a summertime fine. I started a month later. I started in June and you know, June was the month that I decided I was gonna take my fitness journey seriously and just eat better, eat healthier. I started tracking my macros. I just, I needed to put my energy into me. After losing my dad, I just was not, I was, drinking more, I was eating more, I was just indulging in all the things in life because that's how I get through things. I just normally don't want to cope. I don't want to feel my emotions, but this time I was like, let's pick a healthier outlet to keep my mind off of things. And in doing so, I feel like it really helped get me out of my funk and really proved to myself how much I love myself 
so on and so forth. So I did her challenge. It was a 65 day or 65 workout challenge. I also mixed in other workouts in there. I didn't do it for the physical aspect of it. Like, yes, when I started this, I looked in the mirror and I wasn't like totally happy with what I saw. But I will say for those of you who maybe are a younger audience, I think you always care about the way that you look, but like I care a lot less than I used to when I was like in my 20s. I don't know what it is. Like I hit 30 and I just wanted to be comfortable in my skin rather than being thin and like the best looking person on the beach in a bikini. I don't know. I just feel like your mindset shifts, especially as you go th through things in life. I really did it for my health more so my mental health. Um, but like looking back at videos, like when I first started this process, my body has changed so much. Like I'm so much more toned, I'm so much more fit, and I just feel so much better. And like, honestly, the biggest takeaways was the fact that like I wake up earlier now, that I just have so much more energy. I'm not as like sluggish as I used to be. Like I used to sleep until like 8.30, 9 o'clock, which is fine. You know, I'm not knocking any of you who maybe sleep later, but for me, it wasn't fine because I just felt like I didn't have enough hours in the day and I felt like rushed. Like I felt like from the time I woke up until the time I went to bed, I just had too many things to slam into my day. But working out, moving my body and like eating healthier, I just wake up with more energy. I'm excited for the day. This has been such a life changing thing for me. Like I honestly, I love Sydney Cummings. I've been doing her work workouts for years and years and years. I feel so strong both mentally and physically and it's like feeling money can buy. Like I am so proud of myself that I did it because when I started I was hopeful because if there's one thing I'm good at I'm really good with consistency but it was really hard in the beginning and it definitely got easier in the sense that like my mindset around the workouts changed i was completing the workouts because i wanted to prove to myself that i could do anything i put my mind to and that you know i can overcome i am very proud of myself and i i am gonna cry um i'm really proud of myself that i did it and it might be silly. I think that a lot of people do not take the time to appreciate themselves and be proud of themselves. And that's definitely something that I have been as cringy as it is. We need to like change that narrative though. It's not cringy. It's like aspirational, I think. I think I need to be proud of myself and I think that I need to tell myself how proud I am, especially after losing my dad and after losing my grandpa, because like, I just feel like those are people, and I've said this before, that were like very much so in my corner and rooting for me. That's not to say that I don't have other people rooting for me, but I think that I needed to replace the physical people who I've lost that were my biggest cheerleaders by being my biggest cheerleader. And as much as my dad loved to have a good time, I know that he's proud of me and I know it's just like workouts, but I know he's proud of me and that makes me feel better. Oh, ugly cries. I just feel like moral of the story is, you know, do something every day that makes you happy and proves to yourself that, you know, you're worth it. And yeah, I'm proud of myself, even though I'm hysterical. I've just honestly been crying for the last two weeks straight, in case anyone was wondering, which, you know, I do like to vlog, but I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. I worry that like being sad, I don't want to make you sad. I didn't want to make you sad, but I also, you know, sometimes I just need to be by myself and I just need to go through it myself. That is how I get through most things in life. Think myself through it. I'm just like doing what I can to survive at this point in my life, not to sound dramatic. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I do feel like I'm a strong person and I feel like I get that from my mom. My dad was like a very strong man, like physically strong, but like, I don't know. I just feel like women are more emotionally strong. And I definitely get that from my mom. Like my mom can handle a lot, you know, even before my dad passed away. And I really have always like looked up to my mom in the sense that, you know, she can get through anything and she doesn't need people um, to help. 
get her through things in life, which is a treat that, thank God, I got from her. But my mom also instilled in me the importance of working out and moving my body. And if you're not someone that works out regularly, I think that like working out really shows you how strong you are mentally and physically. So, you know, if you're going through a funk, I always say work it out, move your body, sweat it out. I just feel like that kind of physical motion sets your brain into action and it's like, I can overcome anything. Are you trying to get out? Open the door, come on, you got it. Sorry, I broke and couldn't get out. He was trying to leave. I don't know why he's trying to leave though. We're having such a good time here, crying and whatnot. So yeah, move your body, go for a walk today, get some fresh air, do something that makes you feel good. I highly recommend it. If you're interested in Sydney Cummings, summertime fine or any of her workouts, I will link her channel down below. I highly, highly recommend. She is not only a great um, athletic trainer, but she is a wonderful motivational speaker. Half the time I end up crying at the end of workouts just because I have that physical reaction from a workout, but also because she gives such a nice like speech to round it out and kind of like inspire you to carry that feeling of accomplishment and happiness throughout the day. She's just a wonderful person all around. Currently I'm doing her, even though when I'm filming, it's September 2nd today. Like I said, I started her fitness challenge a month late just because in May I really wasn't ready. It was like my dad's birthday month. Um, and I just wasn't ready to like step into the better version of me. So I purchased her August favorites, which is like a 30 day workout challenge that she curated to help maintain the muscle and I am just like body that I've created in the last three months. So I'm doing that now, even though it's called August Favorites and I started it on September 1st. So September, I'm gonna do her August Favorites. I know it's a little confusing. And then she's starting a new program on September 4th, which I'm very excited to see, but I will be a month behind, which honestly, I kind of like being a month behind on her channel because she releases new videos. Is it every day or five times a week? I'm not sure. Um, but I like to be able to see the whole month ahead because I can kind of plan out my days, like which days I can do a 40 minute workout, which I could do a 30. Like I try to do it in order. So I don't really skip around much, but like say tomorrow was a work day, hypothetically, thank God it's not. And I knew I was gonna wake up and I only had 30 minutes to work out. If my next Sydney Cummings workout video was like a 45 minute video, I wouldn't do it. I would pick a 30 minute cardio from like a Laney Fit or I would do a Pilates workout. I would just throw something else in, into the mix. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I kind of just wanted to round it out because I know you guys have been watching me do my workouts here on my vlogs and I was doing that challenge. So I did want to give mention to it. I wanted to honor it and just say, if you're going through a hard time, move your body. I think that it is the most free in terms of monetary, you know, you don't have to pay for it thing to do. And I just think that it really, again, shows you how strong you are both physically and mentally when you can get through something difficult, even if it's only like 30 minutes of your day.